Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Many people are interested in creating animation using stable diffusion. Recently, there was an awesome package library called uh, Animate Diff Prompt Travel. As shown here, I think uh, people have used it to cre create some very smooth uh, transition the video. Mm, I have been able to try it and I created a one notebook in Collab. So it uh, allows anyone with a Google account to run it. Another thing you will need is to use Google Drive to store the videos. All right, so I will do a quick uh, go through of that. There's a little bit uh, uh, thing I wanted to mention before you try that. Okay, so here it is. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that, uh, so, so basically uh, you were able to run it from start to end. It will ask you for permission to connect to the Google Drive. Um, you can allow that. And uh, you will need to create a, a folder called uh, Animate Diff Prompt Travel. So in your Google Drive, create uh, an empty directory. So you can create a new and uh, create a new new photo in your home directory. So so that uh, will allow um, the club to access that. So um, yeah, I will I will I will run it uh, right now. So it will connect to one of Google's GPU, T4 GPU, 16 VRAM. That should be uh, more than enough. One thing I want to mention is that uh, the system RAM, like for free users, they only allow like 12.7 gigabytes. So it uh, will cause some issues. I will explain that uh, later. All right, so let's uh, get started. So, so basically, you would need to run each cell. If you want to do that, you can also run every cell, run them together, run all. For for this demo purpose, I will run each one. It will install several dependencies for the first one. And uh, for the second one, it will ask uh, you your permission to allow it to connect uh, to your Google Drive. So make sure you, that you have the directory created already. So as you can see, the name of the directory is called uh, this, this, and uh, which corresponds to here. Yeah, I also put some explanation in the comments. So make sure you can read that before you go ahead to click uh, the play button. So this, uh, this cell you see, it asks you for permission to connect uh, to Google Drive to allow that. So it uh, then get a clone the directory, install a bunch of dependency files. Okay, seems uh, everything runs uh, smoothly. After that, there are several model files you need to download. So we can look at the uh, downloaded repository. So click uh, on the button on the left side, there's a directory button. There's uh, our clone the animate diff prompt travel directory. So if you go into the data, this is where are the models stored here. So here are stable diffusion. This one is the animated diff model will be in here, right? So so first we install, we download and move the motion file to here, to here. Let's do that. And you can also 
experiment with different version. So there are some fine tuned like models. There are also version one. So feel free to do that. The only thing you need to do is to make some adjustment for the URL and uh, for the motion name. Okay, and then so we see that we do see that the model file has been successfully downloaded here. Okay, so next one is the stable diffusion file. So the same thing that you can experiment with different model. So so they they should be uh, stable diffusion one point five. There are lots of fine tuned model that you can choose from. So so for my case, I'll use this one. Okay, it should talk about one minute. So we see it has been downloaded to the SD directory. Okay, nice. So next thing you will want to know is that uh, one of the important uh, settings for running your experiment are the configuration files. They are stored at uh, the config location. There's a config, there's a prompt, so there are some example prompts. Important one is the prompt travel and the prompt travel Monty control net. So those two. So in my notebook, I made a one sample configure file you can use. So you can click that. So it will create a, a one configure file called a test zero zero one dot JSON. So if you want to make any adjustment, you can um, do it in the prompt section. So so this one is the head prompt. This one is the prompt travel map, and the last one is the tail prompt. So so basically, it has head head are all the same, tail are also all the same but you can control the middle part. So this part you can control. So, so for example, for the zero position, you want it to be like this. And then on 64, you want it to be like this. And the last frame, you would want it to be like this. So, so yeah, feel free to adjust that. Um, so when you want to make your own, one important thing about that is the stable diffusion model you are using. So you can change that uh, the name in here. If you want to adjust it to different uh, animate uh, diff motion module, so you can adjust uh, in here. So that's the two important part. So another, another thing I wanted to mention is that uh, so so in the free tier collab, it uh, only allows like a 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So if you, if, if you run it uh, directly, so you will get some arrows. So, so, so this is my previous run. So it got uh, terminated because it's, it was out of the system RAM. So if, if that happened to you too, um, what uh, you can try to do is to disable the control net. So you, you go into the data, there's the control net image. In the test, you can remove any image stored in the open post directory and, uh, and uh, the soft edge directory. So there are six uh, pictures here. You can delete those, so it will disable the control net. Also, it will also disable the IP adapter. So if, if you also make sure that uh, it's empty in the IP adapter image test. So, so I also included that in my notebook, so you can directly run it, so it will remove those six.
Yeah, so, so those six have been deleted. And then you can go ahead to run it. You can start uh, the next uh, cell. This one will do the actual work to generate the animation based on your config file. It will take a while, but eventually you would see all the imports be saved in the output directory over here. Okay, so I will not do that. I will leave for you to complete this one. And eventually the last cell I had is to copy the uh, file to the Google Drive because in Collab you are not able to view the file. Also Google Drive can help uh, to store the data so that it will be there forever. So eventually you will see everything in here, in here, output in here. Um, I will uh, give you one example. Mm. This is the s low resolution. So if you would like to do what you can improve on that is uh, to make an adjustment to the command line here. So you can use uh, some larger dimension. For example, you can use the width 512 and by 768. It would uh, increase the running time, but the quality would be much better. Some other thing you can try to do is to like make a lot of experiments. You basically can fine tune based on several parameters like a step, like uh, the scale. You can experiment with a scheduler. You can uh, design the prompt. So there's lots of things you can do. Mm. Yeah, if, if you have access to larger VRAM, you can use the control map to do that, to use the control net. You, put, you, you use the control net for the, uh, like a di multiple different type of control net. So they are all available there. So I think that can be a great uh, place to play with. Mm, there's also IP adapter map. So in here, so it's basically you can use the image as input. So those images will be in your final output. So this, this are the, some combination that you think you can do. So if you have access to more system RAM, there are more things that you can experiment with. Let me know if you have any questions. So I will also upload a several tutorial on how to run in this uh, program locally using either NVIDIA GPU or AMD GPU. Yep, please subscribe if you are interested. Thank you. Goodbye.